Hello, and thank you for joining me on another episode of the Tech Exec Podcast, where we help you create a team worth leading. I'm your host, Aviv Yosef, and today we'll be talking about Tango. Before we get into that, good news, I've got a new free session coming up in a few weeks. It's titled Sparing the Midnight All, and it's about having a sense of urgency without having the emergency, creating a team that delivers without the burnout. I'm sure you can get a lot out of it. It's only 30 minutes. If you sign up, the link is in the show notes. You're going to get a recording even if you're not able to attend. So what have you got to lose? It's free. Check it out. Would love to see you there. Now, let's talk about Tango. Something that I keep noticing and keep having to tell my clients is that when managers complain about their people not being up to par, you always have to remember that it takes two to tango. And therefore, whatever your people are not capable of or not doing well or missing on your expectations, yeah, it might mean that there's something on their end that needs to be changed, but also keep in mind, you're the manager. You're the one leading them. It's on you to help them get there. So therefore, they cannot be considered to be the only reason things are not working out. Always consider your own role in this. And this is important for a few reasons. First of all, because I want you to stop Allowing yourself to be in this mode of constant complaining, it doesn't help anyone, it doesn't get you anywhere. If you just point at someone and tell yourself it's on them, that's not on me, you're not gonna see enough improvement throughout. Second, I genuinely believe that that's the best way to be a real coach and help your people grow. When I help people become coaches, oftentimes people who, till that point, didn't have to work with people who needed some work to really shine. They just happened to work with really great people and they thought that's what leadership is. However, I've seen so many people who were diamonds in the rough or actual diamonds already shown in previous workplaces but had to be adjusted to your existing culture, to how you like to do things. And without proper coaching, you can very easily lose out. Almost every time that I hear about someone who comes in, has a very promising track record, and the company is disappointed with them, those people are people who, when they continue off to another company, they shine once more. What's the reason? Again, tango. It's not just that employee. It's how you manage that employee. So keep in mind that whatever you do, you can really help people grow and you shouldn't allow yourself to just disengage and think they're not doing it. Always consider what's my role in it? How can I help? How am I involved? What can I change? How can I help them? This is what you need to be doing. That's how you create teams that are amazing. You actively, proactively coach people. You don't wait for things to become fires that have to be put out. You proactively lead them, help them change, help them grow, provide them with feedback. You don't sit on your hands while things aren't that bad and only when it explodes, you finally make a move. No, you actually help them grow. That's the tango we're in. And I'm not sure tango is one of those, you know, where you have someone who's leading, but either way, you should be leading this tango. Now, This is also very critical when it comes to how you view your organization if you're higher up. For example, I was recently talking to a CEO who complained that everyone in middle management weren't good enough. Maybe the executives weren't good enough in creating good middle managers or hiring good middle managers. And that's fine. That's probably something that we need to look into. But in Italian, there's a saying, non c'è due senza tre. There's not two without three. And here we have the middle managers, we have the executives, but we also have number three, the CEO himself. He is the one who brought in those executives. He's the one who's been coaching them and helping them. He also shouldn't just be sitting on his hands complaining about how middle management is operating. Think about your role in this. All right, this goes ad infinitum. You can always consider what's my role in this. Don't just point down, but consider what can I do. All right, that's 
our takeaway for today. Start thinking about your agency, your autonomy, how you can move things, how you can change things for the better. And that's it for this week. Thank you for joining me again. Check out my free session. It actually touches some more on these points because if you realize this tango and you dance it well, you're going to create a team that has less fires to put out and therefore you're going to be sparing the midnight oil. You're not going to be having people burning out all the time and you'll be able to create a culture that actually can grow and become better as the organization matures and grows as opposed to just accumulating waste, accumulating craft and getting slower with time. No one likes that, but we seem to assume that's the way it has to be. It isn't. So check it out. Link in the show notes. Thank you. I'll be here next week.